Aloha, bon voyage Man, I'll be out in Europe and my next stop Prague I'll be everywhere, tell her where you going with your swell ass To know the Fight fans and MMA fanatics, look who I got beside me I've got to put my arm around this man This man is none other than Carlos Machado, I've got to tell you, first of all, Carlos, let me shake your hand, baby. I'm so excited. You know, when we met outside, I think I was holding your hand too tight. Man, you? I was ready to take this guy down, <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, five fans, before we actually get a profile on this man, I've got to tell you where we're at. We're, we are at Machado Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I always want to say BJJ. We're at 4887 Alpha Road. We're at Suite 270. We're in Farmer's Branch right here. We're at his place right here. And what we're going to do right now, Carlos, I want to get to know you a little bit closer. I know a lot of people know your name. Today I want to put a background. I want to put history. I want to put history that has already been made by you into these people's ears, their eyes, and then they know who you are. Why don't you go and tell us something about here. We're right here in your right. foyer right here. Tell me something about it. All right, gentlemen, ladies, pleasure to have you guys here at the Machado Academy. When you walk into this house, we're going to take care of your Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu needs. We are a martial arts school uh, focused on taking care of families, kids, young men, adults, men and women. And we do our best to make sure that you guys get what you need. As you, Mr. Roland was saying, after 20 years in America and 16 years in Dallas, uh, I have some stuff here. You guys can take a look. Students here, you know, not trying to make a pitch, but Unstoppable DVD. I teach people how to throw people over their head. <laughs> and uh, infinite jiu-jitsu. So basically, once we start, it doesn't end. You only <laughs> end when you want to. Uh, when you see against the wall here, uh, we got uh, different frames of, of course, family and things that have happened in the past, uh, you know, where it emphasizes uh, our influence uh, the, in the media for giving the background, business is on. Uh, as you kind of go along here, students, when they walk in, one of the first things that they do they get acquainted with uh, the belt system. You know, as you know, in jiu-jitsu yes. you have the beginners or rookies, which is white. And then uh, you get the blue belt, which means you know something. And then you get purple belt, that means you're taking care of business. <laughs> By the time you get to brown belt, that means you're really serious. I was trying to see how long you'll last. You hang on until brown belt, that tells me you're going somewhere. And of course, black belt means you did your job and we get you taken care of. Once you get old enough, like me, one day, someday, <laughs> you might get the red belt. I dread that because I'm not worried about my mastery uh, accomplishments. I'm just afraid how old I'm going to look by the time I wear that belt. So as you're walking here, of course, you know, you got some uh, students, they, they like to, right. you know, buy the, some souvenirs. We've got pinky stuff for the girls as well, <laughs> RCG Machado. And then we go from there. And well, hold on, hold on, oh, sorry, sorry. hold on, Carlos. I wanted to take oh, a picture skipped, of this I right skipped. here. He skipped this one right All here. Right. This right here where he was the international masters champion right here. Yeah, well, what happened in, you know, I used to compete among uh, all the other things that I had to do uh, while in, in America and, you know, after I moved from Brazil. So this was my last official tournament and I, you know, I was able to close uh, with gold in both uh Middle and open weight division. Okay, humbleness in their heart, baby. I tell you what, I've got to be the mouthpiece right here. This man knocked people out. I tell you what, look at him on YouTube. Go ahead and just do a Carlos Machado. Let me make sure you've got this right. M A C H A D O. You will get him, and you'll be able to see how he just lets people think they're getting the upper hand, and all of a sudden he just triangles them, baby, and it's tap out time. It's good night. It's lights out. Go ahead. Let's keep on. Lights out. <laughs> lights out. All right. So as you're walking here, of course, you know, we've got the mats. Uh, we've got a couple of my black belts on the background, which I'm going to introduce to you in a little while. Uh, if you turn around here to uh, your right, Mr. Dan Beluska, he's the official manager of the academy, does a great job. And taking care of the business. Got Mr. Adam Trees right there. You know, uh, he helps me out a lot, uh, uh, you know, with the classes. And uh, we have the Santos brothers, uh, Marcos and uh, Marcio, doing some background action right there. Hey, Carlos says we're talking about black belts. Any any black belts you can give us names? I know it. You probably well, I tell you what, so many of them. Let's make it. Let's make it. Okay. In a nutshell. Let's do it. Uh, since since I came to Dallas, I've had probably over 60 there you go. black belts okay. formed over here, okay? Uh, you got a little glimpse right here. Look right here, right Back here. in the old days, the gym on the right here, nothing more than my friend and special uh, friend, uh, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Uh, and then, you know, as you go here, 
you know, you kind of see a little bit of the background, okay? Say hi right there, guys. Uh, Mr. Marcos and Marshall Santos right there. Welcome to Machado Academy. So, uh... That's some bad boys, man! I can tell! Look at them! So here as we go, uh, you know, uh, we have enough room on the mat to accommodate a large class. Uh, it doesn't seem big enough uh, uh, on certain days. We're definitely looking into getting more mat space. Our facilities are always maintained clean. Uh, we have, you know, changing room on the background. We have bathrooms on the left. And uh, Mr. Rowan and I are going to have a little talk right here, a little pep talk on the corner. Uh, and uh, it's, it's okay if you want to step okay, on the mat okay. right now, it's all good. Uh, we, we always respect the mat. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, some glass of uh, the pictures of the brothers right there, you know. The five brothers. Go ahead and give yeah. us the names. Go, go ahead and identify. I see you. Okay, uh, look at this. Roger. You have Roger. Uh, right next to Roger, it's me, Carlos, uh, John, uh, Hegan, uh, Jean-Jacques. Beautiful, so, beautiful. Yeah. And you also see right here, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure if you want to get yeah. some information, it's www. This is an old one. This is okay. an old one. Okay, oh, what's the new one? one? Oh, I've got uh, it right I, here. I tell you what, the best one is the one that holds all the brothers' initials. RCJ, Roger, Carlos, John, and Regan. So if you get to that one, uh, rcjmachado.com, you're not going to miss any of the action. I promise you. Okay, now, let's, let's go and get down. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions here. As we start opening you up as a fighter, your philosophy on how you see the BJJ game, I'll just use BJJ without saying Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I know we all know fine. that. We all know, all that. we all know that. But you know, one of the things that I've, I know you've been into, you've already been in the sport for 20 years. And Carlos, tell no, me. I, I've been in the sport for 40 years. 20 years 40 in America. Years, yeah. 20 years in America, okay. Yeah. Tell me what is the change, the evolution of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from the time you started to where you see it now. I know there's been a lot of modifications mm -hmm. made. Tell me what you think about all that. I think there are two ways. Okay. okay you have uh, the old school, you have the new school. Okay. I think there's a marriage of both times right now. I think today people know more about how to uh, uh, fulfill the students' needs. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the old days, it was go to the academy, roll for eight hours a day, get some coconut water, go to the beach, you know, that's the lifestyle in Brazil. Come here to America, our challenge is to make sure that the busy schedule of a lot of the professionals that come to our academy can be fulfilled in a timely fashion. They come here twice a week, three times a week, and we try to build a curriculum that will maximize their time on the mat. So it doesn't take 10 years for you to get somewhere. With the assistance of my instructors in our program, in a short amount of time, I think we can accomplish a lot more mm -hmm. than what used to be the case back in the old days. Well, I know that you have probably already seized your style of what I call BJJ teaching. Mm -hmm. A very pointed question here. What separates you? What makes you, you think, I'm thinking, better than the guy, ne the next guy? You know, what, what do you do different? It's hard for me to judge if I'm above or below anybody else. My challenge is to be better than what I have been in the past. And the measure that I have is if I have happier students, if I have more students coming at the door, uh, if people are staying longer training with me, those are the measures that matter. Uh, now, I don't get into politics. I don't care. Like, if somebody has something to teach me, I'm more than glad to take it. I got you. And that's how it goes. I got you. Well, you know, right now, what I was going to say also right now, MMA, mixed martial arts, has taken America by the tail right now. Sure. It is, it is skyrocketed. I've become a lover. I was a boxing fanatic. I was talking to Casey, the man behind the, behind the camera. Shout out to you, Casey. What's that last name, Casey? Gray. Casey, Casey Gray out of Grand Prairie. He's got a school out there, too. We'll talk, we'll talk to him in a little while. But thank you, Craig, uh, uh, Casey. Um, I was going to ask you, the future of MMA, how do you see it right now? I mean, it is... It is a, a phenomenon right now. I mean, I've become a lover. I've become a yeah, follower of the sport. Um, not long ago, uh, three, weeks, three weeks ago, I was in Vegas at the last uh, mm -hmm. 143 UFC sure. uh -huh. when my brother-in-law, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, had his debut with the knockout of the night. Yes. He's already scheduled to go uh, back again on Stephen April. Stephen Thompson. Stephen Thompson. Big yeah. shout out, baby. Yeah. Uh, he, he's scheduled to fight again against uh, Matt Brown uh, on UFC uh, 145 in Atlanta on April uh, 21st. Okay. But going back to the MMA game, back in the old days, 
It was no time limits and no breaks. <laughs> you know, just go. I love it. For jiu-jitsu <laughs> fighters, it's a more favorable setup because if you take us some time, we can take some hit, then take the guy down, and we know the guy's going to be there for as long as it takes. Our chances are greater. But because of the showmanship and time issues with uh, networks, they had to format in the five-minute rounds, whether three or five rounds. Uh, and I think what we have right now is BJJ is an asset to a striker. Uh, like, let's say, uh, Wonder Boy, for instance. He doesn't have to spend that much time on the ground since all his skills uh, can, he can take better care of business uh, right away. Standing. Beautiful, yes. So all my work is make sure he's out of trouble and he gets back on his feet as fast as he can. So that's a twist right there. And uh, so from my perspective, I see that it becomes a game. You know, how do you play the game according to the format of the show? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I couldn't have said that. I mean, you, you made me realize now when I see a, a, a BJJ artist come out and take care of his business and he transition, so to speak, how he takes the time element into consideration, just like you said. Excellent. Okay, now let me ask you right here. We're here at one of your gyms. How many gyms do y'all have, Machado gyms okay, throughout uh, America? The, 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 thing, the thing is, like, I've had, uh, and my brothers to that extent, influence over a lot of instructors back in the old days. Uh, so we have a network of, uh, I would say, hundreds of schools mm -hmm. that, to an extent, replicate uh, some of the teaching uh, that we recommend. We, you know, but now what we're trying to do is one step above that. We have a lot of accomplished uh, students out here that once they, once they reach a level of brown or black belt, they feel like, I want to go somewhere else. I want to get gotcha. one step above gotcha. than what I got. Gotcha. We take care of those guys and make sure that they can have the opportunity to follow a career, in, gotcha. you know, as, as the instructors have done. Well, Carlos, I know that you give schools, you give seminars. I'm just trying to sh tr uh, shift gears right here. What can the viewer who wants to stay in touch, maybe even get a class with you, some information from you as you start giving cinema, uh, uh, seminars, schools, not only just here uh, at your gym, but as you get on the road, do you have some type of agenda? Uh, sure, sure. Well, thing? on the website, uh, rcjmachadojujitsu.com, uh, we have the calendar of events, uh, and it tracks down Facebook at the Carlos Machado fan page. Uh, your RCJ Machado fan page. You also have uh, everything that's going on. And basically here, if you are in the area and you want to visit our academies, uh, it's going to be on the house. Your first class is on us. All we want to do is have the opportunity to share with you some of our ideas about martial arts and hopefully uh, entice you to a good experience if you're serious about it. Okay, I've got to, I've got to uh, give everybody a YouTube video to watch on you. It's actually Machado. I think it's, it, it says Carlos Machado versus, and I don't know how you say his name, A R Y. Uh, Aristos. Aristos. Uh, yes. And what's his last name? I can't remember his last name, but anyway, I, I, for, forget the last name. But if you put Aristos in there, I'm going to tell you this man comes out. He lets this Aristos guy just think he's about to manhandle the master, and the master just, oh, you just got to look at it, baby. It's beautiful. 54 seconds, that's all it takes. 54 seconds, lights out. It's, it's over with. Next! That's all he says. Who's next? But no, and I, I just say that with, with a big flare in my heart because I, I love the technique that you bring. Quite obvious, a master of masters that you are. I'm going to ask you right now, any co more contact information you can give these people on anything on how they keep up with you and sure. some of the apparel that you have, that sure. you have out here. Sure. Well, I, t I said before, rcjmachadojujitsu.com. If you prefer to call 972-934-1316 and uh, Facebook uh, at the Carlos Machado or RCJ Machado Jiu Jitsu fan page, you're going to see not just information about me, but everybody else in the area that carries on the Machados. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have the Colony, we have uh, Green Prairie, we have Lake Highlands, uh, we have prospects of Fort Worth. Uh, we have several areas uh -huh. that it's worth for you checking out. Uh, once you follow up with it. Well, we did give a big shout out to Stephen Thompson. How about Evan? I know Evan's still, I think he's an amateur. Yeah, there you go. Uh, well, the Thompson's family, you know, it's funny because Mr. Ray Thompson, in my opinion, is one of the most amazing striking coaches I have ever seen. Not just because of what I've seen his sons do, my brothers-in-law, 
but just the, the amount of quality he produces. Evan Thompson, besides being an accomplished instructor at the RCJ Machado Colony location with my other black belt, Mike Madley, uh, he also manages to find time to do his MMA, and I think he has a couple of MMA bouts coming up very soon mm -hmm, sure. in Oklahoma and Houston uh, in March and, and uh, end of March. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, his own route is one of those th things that he can be a businessman on one side and an MMA fighter on the other. I don't know how he does it, but he's a, he's a kind of a guy. You don't want to get hit by him either. <laughs> well, I you tell know? you what, you don't know this, Carlos. I had the proud uh, opportunity of introducing him as a ring announcer when he fought up here in Addison. Or I can't remember what it was, Buffalo, whatever it was, and he he, he won that fight. Mm -hmm. That's how I got to know Evan, the Thompson family. But uh, uh, what I want to do right now, I want to give a huge shout-out to a huge follower of yours. It's TexasMMA.com. Okay. It's TXMMA.com. I want to give them a huge shout-out. Sure. They're always covering you. Mike Columbus out of Houston. Baby, I'll tell you what, we salute you right now for coming out in another big shout-out to Dulce. I don't want to say her last name. The lady who put he and I together, Carlos, it's a mutual friend of ours. Don't say, I'm going to tell you right now. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, sweetheart. She, you know, she's a young lady at heart. Go ahead and say something to her. Vision travel. Vision travel. Oh, yes. You want tickets, Miss Dulce? She'll take you to Brazil for nothing. Check it out. Vision travel. Rio de Janeiro. She's already told me that yesterday. We were talking. So, uh, Dulce, I do want to say again, thank you very much for putting us together. Any last-minute shout-outs you want to say to anybody before we wrap this thing out? Sure. Anything. Just real quick, uh, if you guys want to do something for you and your family, martial arts, in my opinion, is more exciting than many of the things I have seen. I try to go to gyms and do workouts, and you get bored because you keep doing the same thing all the time. You can't play soccer, soccer, you can't play baseball. It's all group sports. The individual attention that you receive as a martial arts student will change your life. Kids get more disciplined, they get calmer, adults get more relaxed, and jiu-jitsu is all based upon not just getting fit and safe, but also giving you that relaxed state of mind that you produce better, whether uh, being a better husband, and I'm uh, maybe going on Dr. No, Phil's like uh, quote here, uh, better business uh, man, a lot of guys here come at daytime in between their breaks in office, when they go back, the employees are amazed, like, man, this guy has more energy, he's doing more. So for all those reasons, do not hesitate, because a lot of times people are intimidated by making a decision like that. They associate martial arts with fighting, getting hurt. Here, we take care of you, safety, and making sure you get what you need. Love it. Our 2005 Best BJJ Instructor, 2006 Instructor of the Year, and a 2008 inducted into the Hall of Fame. I've got to tell you, Carlos Machado knows how to do it one way, and that's the right way, because that's just what he does. As we bring one to an end, I also tell you right now that if you don't get the address, if you don't get the information, you have a replay button, baby, but I'm going to tell you one more time, 4887 Alpha Road, Suite 270, here in the heart of BJJ. That's Farmer's Branch, Texas, baby. Here's where it happens. I shake the hand that Thank shakes the cage, that knocks out people, baby, that used to, you know, put that fist right there. I hate to find uh, that thing right no, there, baby. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, there you go, baby, a choke. I forgot about that. We're BJJ. You go ahead and stay tuned for our next one as we sign off one more time. Roland Gomez. My life ever being turtle Had a show in Wilmington, but we flew out of Myrtle Yeah, and this is my style Numbers that I doubt